So for a, we are given 2x squared is equals to 7 minus 10x. Okay, we are asked to solve this equation giving our answers correct to two decimal places. Okay, so here the degree of accuracy is specified that we leave our answer to two decimal places and this is five marks so arrange this one in the corrective form the corrective form is a x squared plus b x plus c is equals to zero so here this two x squared is already in the, on the right side uh, or, um, on the right side okay um this these are not on the right side. These are on the wrong side of the equation. So we're going to take this one to the left-hand side, and it's going to be it's going to be ten positive ten x. Then this one is going to be negative seven is equals to zero. Then we can solve this. All right. So what is our a? Our a is the coefficient of the, any variable that is a square. The number in front of any variable that has a square. So this one is what? 2. Our b is 10. Our c is the constant here, which is negative 7. Then we can write down our formula. x is equals to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Remember, this is the square root. Okay. Then let's sub substitute x is equals to negative what is our b our b is 10 so it will be negative 10 plus minus the square root b is um, 10 so it will be 10 squared minus 4 4 what is our um, a our a is 2 our c is negative 7 this is what we are having you should be writing nicely Okay, you write nicely over 2 times a, which is 2. Okay, I've just substituted. Okay, so this is how what? This is how you substitute. Now, let's solve. So, we have x is equals to negative 10 plus minus. We're solving this. 10 squared is 100. Negative times negative here is positive. 4 times 2 is 8, okay? Then 8 times 7 is 56. So we have 56, okay, over 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. Then we go to the next step, all right? Next step, x is equals to negative 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 plus 56 is 156, okay, over 4, all right, kaya ndaka mwana kamundu, slow but sure, x is equals to, now you're going to deal with the, you can't divide here, you're going to deal with this, so this is where you split, so what is the square root of 156, okay, so we're going to say negative 10 so let's start with plus plus the answer of the square of 156 which is 12.489996 over 4 or okay or x is equals to negative 10 In this case we use minus okay we use this minus minus the, this one answer the square root of 156 which is 12.48996 over 4 okay we proceed it's 5 marks so make sure you solve you're solving this within time so what you're going to do is let's um, deal with this first negative 10 plus this okay so it's giving me 2.489995997 over 4 or 
this side let's deal with this side let's that's the calculator on top there okay so this is going to give us negative 22.48996 okay 996 over over 4 then just a matter of dividing since on the calculator i still have this answer so i can first deal with the this side so divided by 4 this is giving me negative 5.62249 let's come to this 2.48996 seven divided by four this is giving me so x is equals to this is giving me zero point six two two four nine eight triple nine okay then the degree of accuracy we are told to leave our answer correct to how many decimal places two so after a decimal point here, we have one, two numbers, so up to here. And this one is less than five, so I'm not going to add one to this. So therefore, x is equals to 0 0.62 or x is equals to negative 5 point. So after this decimal point, we have 6, 2, okay? And the, these are the roots to the equation we have just dissolved.